Josh slapped with $50,000 bill from state as he begins 12-year prison sentence. Hi, my name is Julie, nice to see you on my channel. Josh has been slapped with a $50,100 bill from the state as he has started his 12-year prison sentence for CP charges. Josh, 34, was found guilty of possessing and receiving CP in December and was sentenced to 151 months in prison in May. He is currently serving his sentence at FCI Secoville in Texas. The Sun can exclusively reveal the former 19 Kids and Counting star has been slapped with a $50,100 lien for restitution by the state in his CP case. When Josh was sentenced in May, he was ordered to pay a lump sum of $50,100 due immediately. According to the judgment, if the payment is not paid immediately, any unpaid financial penalty shall be paid by the defendant during his term of imprisonment at a rate of up to 50% of the defendant's available funds, in accordance with the Inmate Financial Responsibility Program. Jim Bob and Michelle's disgraced son is the father of seven children with his wife, Anna, who has stood by his side. Josh owned a used car lot, wholesale motor cars, where he downloaded CP on his HP computer. The lot was shut down after police raided the used car lot in November 2019. Josh and Anna, 34, had been living in a small warehouse on the family's compound with their children. Anna is a stay-at-home mother and begged Honorable Judge Timothy L. Brooks to give her husband a lenient sentence as she feared for her family's financial future. In the letter obtained by the son, Anna wrote, Joshua has worked hard to provide for me and our, now, seven children. My children and I rely on Joshua for financial, emotional, and physical support. Many others depend on Joshua, too. The Dubber family pastor's widow Denise Wilson also described Anna's distress in a recent phone call while pleading with the judge for leniency in Josh's case. Denise told the judge in her own letter that Josh had helped support her and her nine children financially after the death of her husband. She said that support was cut off following Anna's emotional phone call. In the letter to the judge, which was filed on Tuesday, Denise wrote, Recently, Anna called crying saying they're not able to do this now because of their situation, despite how much they wanted to continue to support me. Josh told me he and Anna were going to support me and my family monthly to keep up my finances. When he told me how much it would be, I was shocked. It was a gracious amount. Josh acted as if it was just a natural thing to do. He told me, we're just doing what the Bible says. To have pure religion is to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. Josh was sentenced to 151 months in prison on May 25th. According to The Sun's court reporter, Josh appeared stoic as he received his sentence, which also includes $50,100 in fines. As he read his decision, the judge called Josh's crimes the sickest of the sick to the packed courtroom. He then said to Josh, you have done some very bad things. But in your life as a whole, you've done good things. The true test of a man's character is what a man does when no one is watching. Referring to Josh's insistence that he's innocent, the judge continued, I find it aggravating about the lack of responsibility. Judge Brooks recommended Josh participate in the Bureau of Prison Sex Offender Treatment Program. In the Accustation Police report, Jim Bob told authorities his son was sent to a Christian counseling program where he did manual labor and had counseling. When prosecutors fought for a 20-year sentence on the CP charges, they feared Josh would not get the proper counseling and would re-offend again. The father of seven filed to appeal the sentence.